Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're covering Outlook for Mac and we're gonna talk about a lot of questions and problems that people frequently run into and we're gonna provide a solution if there is one. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software for a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have the links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. Now we're pulling most of these from our comment section on our Outlook Beginner's Guide for Mac video. If you haven't seen that video and you wanna watch it, you can find it right here. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna show you guys is how to change or add accounts. Now, instead of the File tab, we're gonna go up to the top of the Mac tabs where it says Outlook. We'll click on that and press Preferences. We're gonna click on the Accounts icon here. And then at the bottom left, we can click Plus to add a new account. So I'll go ahead and do that really quick. Now it's bringing up a setup wizard specifically for Gmail. And this is just gonna depend on what server your email is hosted with. So I'll press continue and I'm gonna sign in through Google to finish the setup. All right, the next thing that we're gonna cover is follow up flags. So if you're used to the PC version of Office, there's a follow up flag button. Now for the Mac alternative, we have a drop down arrow next to flag at the top. So we could select a date from here. We can press choose a date. This is gonna set a reminder. Uh, another way we can do this is to simply drag the email onto the calendar icon. And this also brings up a setup window. Now, the next thing that we're gonna cover is creating a new folder. So separate from favorites or rename folder, we wanna just create a new top level folder. You might notice that it's grayed out. So if I click on my inbox, or sorry, if I click on my email address, new folder is grayed out. It doesn't really make much sense but Microsoft support has a workaround. It's kind of annoying, but you won't have to do it very often, hopefully. So if we go over to the help tab, we're gonna revert to legacy Outlook and we're gonna go ahead and submit. And now that we're in the legacy Outlook, I'm gonna right click, new folder is available and it works. I can name it test folder. And once the folder is created and you've made the adjustments that you wanted to make, and then at the top, we have a switch to go back to new Outlook. We'll press that, it's gonna restart. And as you can see, I now have that folder underneath this email address here. Now, the next thing that we're gonna cover is tasks. So if we go down here to the three dots and we click to do, it pulls up a website and it wants us to sign into Microsoft. That's not how it's supposed to be. And unfortunately, this new Outlook is still kind of a work in progress. So again, we're gonna have to revert back to the legacy Outlook to use the task feature. Now, next up, we're gonna show you guys how to view an attachment. Sometimes it's not gonna show up by default. So I'm gonna filter here for emails that have attachments. And here is the attachment. So I can either double click this, which is gonna open it with preview on my Mac. I can also click this arrow right here. And we have some more options on how we want to view the attachment. The next thing that we're gonna cover is IMAP settings. So we can get to that with Outlook, Preferences, Accounts. We're gonna click the account that has the IMAP. And by doing so, you'll get a button for advanced settings and you can control it from there. Now, while we're on the accounts, this is also where you can delete an account. If I wanted to delete this, I can press the minus button right here and I can sign out and delete this account from this Outlook application. Now, some people are having issues adding events even though they have their email accounts connected. Uh, we first recommend trying to uninstall and reinstall that account. See if that fixes the problem. And another suggestion is to use Outlook to assign the author permission to the user. And to do that, we're gonna click over to the calendar. And here we would be right-clicking the calendar of the shared mailbox. And then we wanna select properties. We're gonna click over to permissions. And then here we could add the name of the user that we wanna share permissions with. Next up, we have adding a shared calendar through a link. So if you're trying to set it through a link, you might find yourself running into some issues. The best way to try to get this to work is we're gonna go over to File, Open, and we'll click Shared Calendar. And then here you're gonna enter the email address of the person whose calendar you wanna put in, and then we'll press Open. Next up, you may have noticed a cap to file size for attaching images. I believe the cap is set at three megabytes, which is pretty small. And for me personally, I use a software called Handbrake, or I use Photoshop, and I just do specific export settings to compress the file to get it to a smaller file size. 
You can also search the web for online file compressors, but you basically just have to get the file size to be really small. All right, and then the last little feature that we have for you guys is how to clone an email to a new email. Now, I think that the easiest way to do this without fiddling around with the new Outlook is we're gonna use a keybind Command A, select all, and Command C. If you're trying to get attachments to go with it, you can download those and reattach. And then we'll just make a new message and in the, in the body paragraph, we'll press Command V to paste. So pretty fast. Uh, I know it's not as simple as the click of a button, but that is a sure way to copy the email within just a few seconds. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have additional questions, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in your own copy of Microsoft Office or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links in the description box below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.